and we're ready to load now. So first of all, put some of our ghee in. And we're loading now all of our chicken at once. So for my chicken korma, I don't need the chicken fully seared. That means I can start now to add all the spices that I would like to have in there. First of all, I put in the cumin, cinnamon, put in my ginger garlic paste. can add now my spices to it already. And now, of course, I have to sear the spices a little bit over here as well to get the nice flavors out. I will just add one liter of water just to deglaze it. This goes fully automatically as you can see over here. Done with adding water. Well, let it cook a little bit. And of course now I need my tomato paste. in and my cashew paste let's give it a quick mix over here Okay, so only thing that I have to do now is I add my cock probe and done. Now the very cool procedure will cook my chicken korma completely independent. I don't have to do anything at all at this point over here. So my chicken is cooking. What I would like to start next over here is the muela via. So I go on pudding with sauce and the cooking time of the muela via is very very short. Then only when the milk is hot only one minute. So we will fill in now the milk. In the meanwhile, while the milk for the Moana beer is still preheating, what we will do now is we will add the fried onions as well. A good portion, of course. Just mix it in. Very cookie center tells us now to quickly 
steer the milk just with, to be sure that you really distribute the heat perfectly. So that is what I've done, just give it a quick steer. And it's heating up. Put already over here my mix of milk, starch and sugar for the Moala beer. And of course, what we will need is some rose water that we have over here. Just very, very little uh, for the Moala beer, just to give it a typical flavor over here. On the other side, our curry is still cooking. So very cooking center tells us now to add the starch mix. First of all, I put some of the rose water in. Starch mixture. Really making sure we have it really distributed everywhere. So just give it a good mix. Up to the point where we can serve it now, 21 minutes over here. It's beautiful curry, you can see it. And just would like to wait until my Muela Bia is done. So I just press hold. And now the very cooking center keeps the serving temperature perfectly for this chicken. Getting a nice consistency. Let's give it a quick steer here as well. Yeah, you can see there's already the cooking time. And one thing, even if it's not typically for this recipe, to add some blanched white almonds gives an extra nice flavor to it, so we will mix this in as well. Okay, so both products are done, while beer is done. Our curry is done as well, and of course, we'd like to get now out of the pan. You can see snow sticking to the pan base over here. How easy that is. And the same we will do of course over here as well. Perfect result. No burning where the milk was. Usually you always have to clean a lot when, when there's milk involved in here. So I just can scrape it out. Over here I have the same. Only thing that I have to do now for the cleaning is show it on this one. Get the pen down. Just adding some cleaning detergent over here. And that goes really quick. On the base, to make sure that everything is really removed here.
just open the valve so water can go out. And you see here as well how easy it is to clean the very cooking center. Just over here I opened this little valve 